here with Coach Lister. Coach, you guys have now wrapped up the entire non-conference schedule. You guys went 1-1 one one last weekend at the Tabor Classic. Um, recap a little bit last weekend for us, and then after that, give us an overall assessment on your non-conference schedule. Sure, yeah, we uh, went down and played the Tabor Classic. Uh, and Tabor's a team that we play early in the year at our place uh, and beat in overtime. Uh, predicted to finish second in their league in the KCAC. Uh, so they're a very good basketball team. Um, we were fortunate on the first night to beat Sterling. Uh, I thought we played fairly well. It's always hard coming back after Christmas with the layoff, uh, just playing really good basketball as a team. Um, it's hard to execute at the level that you probably were right up, right before break, uh, simply because you had some time off. So those are concerns. It's hard to really gauge where you're going to be when you come back from that kind of break. But I thought we played fairly well against Sterling. We really executed offensively and were able to, to score in the 80s, which uh, you know shows that we were able to uh, play well on that end, and then uh, we helped in 65, so we did a good job defensively. Then we played Tabor at their place. Tabor's a very good basketball team. Um, we didn't pre defend particularly well, and, and that showed up in the score. We let them shoot 55% uh, from the three-point line and 46% overall from the field, and we let them shoot for 34 free throws. Despite all that, you know, we still only lost by three. Um, we played pretty well on the offensive end as well. They zoned us, which we don't see a lot of. Um, and we, we were able to get some things going in the second half to give ourselves a chance to win and just came up short. But it's a good basketball team. It was a good non-conference game for us. Unfortunately, we didn't come up with a win, but uh, it, it was something that uh, was good for us moving forward as we moved into conference play. It felt like a road atmosphere in our conference. It's a great crowd. Uh, our kids battled, and we just didn't play well in all, all the phases we need to on the road to be successful. But great for us moving into conference play to get us prepared against good competition to gives us a chance to compete for the conference championship. Now that you've wrapped up that non-conference schedule, you focus directly now on the conference stages, but what are the things m most positively you, you take from that non-conference schedule coming into this week and, and forward? Well, I think if you look at the, uh, the whole scope of our non-conference schedule, I would say that we were pretty up and down. Um, com considering the talent that we played and the teams that we played, we played a good non-conference schedule which has allowed us to get some respect nationally as far as uh, you know, getting some votes to be in the top 25 and, and pushing to be in that category. We played teams that were ranked both NAI Division I and Division II, and, and we had success uh, against both of those. But we also had some games that we know that we came up short in that uh, were games that we felt like we were the better team and didn't show up and play very well. So those are disappointing things, but they're things we can build off of. It just goes to show that you have to come out and play every single night at this level, and if you don't, um, you, you have a chance to get beat. And we didn't do that consistently enough across the board for where we wanted to be, but we also showed a lot of signs of, of being a really, really good basketball team. And so we're going to build off of those things. We're going to take the positives from it and, and move on. Uh, it's in the past now, and now our whole focus on is, is winning the conference championship, and that's where we're driven to be. So uh, we'll learn from those things and we'll improve and uh, hopefully we'll continue to push forward to become a better basketball team as we move uh, through the heart of conference play. Now you begin things with Thursday game on the road at nationally ranked Benedictine. Uh, talk about that team and what your expectations are playing them. Well, Benedictine is one of the two teams in the, in the conference that we've struggled with the last two years. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if you look at our overall conference record uh, coming into this point from Last season into this season, we're 15 and two against everybody in our conference except for Benedictine and Ben America, who we're, we have yet to beat. Um, they're a great basketball team. They they beat number two Oklahoma City uh, right before Christmas, who's who's a tremendous program, and that's their only loss of the season. Uh, but they're also a team that we have the capability of beating if we go in and play well. Uh, they execute very well. They uh, they play defense at a high level. They don't beat themselves. And we're going to have to do the things that we need to do to be successful on the road to have a chance to win, which is rebound the basketball at a high rate. Uh, we're in the top ten in the country in doing that. Uh, we've got to take care of the basketball, which we've really improved upon in the last five or six games as far as cutting down on our turnovers. And then, you, you know, we, we've got to go out to, and be very good defensively as far as guarding their first shot offense. We didn't do that very well a couple times against them last year. We came up short in a couple really good games. We lost 85-80 and 69-67. Uh, but they're a national tournament qualifying team. They're the kind of team that if you want to be in the top 25, <clears throat> you've got to come out and make sure that you show that you're capable of beating them on the road. And, and we've done that already this year against Central Methodist, who I think is a very good basketball team. 
We have a lot of confidence going into the Benedictine game that uh, we've got the kind of talent to go in and beat them at their place, but it's going to be a tremendous challenge. It's going to be a great basketball game. It'll be really good for our girls to go in and see where we're at mentally uh, and, and see if we can compete to win this conference championship. It won't make or break us as far as the race goes, but it certainly would be a tremendous win for us moving forward. And uh, we know we're going to have our hands full, but we're, we're working really hard to be prepared for that. Girls are excited to go over and play them. Then you return home Saturday to take on Culver Stockton. Uh, you know, what will, will it mean for your team to come back home? You know, it's been a while since you've had a home game. And, uh, you know, what are your expectations for Culver? Well, it would be great to be in our home court. That, that's for sure. It's been a long time. Um, and, and I know for the girls, it's always a, a much better feeling to play at home than it is on the road because of the fan support. So we're excited about that. But uh, regardless, you know, you, you've got to have a quick turnaround and be prepared mentally after playing against a team that's one of your rivals on their home court. Win or lose, you have to put it behind you really quickly and get ready to play. And that's one of the challenges in our conference is to, to play in that Thursday-Saturday format where you can change uh, things quickly and, and try to get your mind prepared for the next team as quick as you possibly can. Culver has a new head coach this year. Um, you know, they're going through some transition. They lost a couple of really key kids from last year. But they're a team that's going to come in and play hard and play as tough and they compete um, both ends of the floor and we're going to be ready to go. But uh, we know in our conference that you, you can't afford to overlook anybody. You, you've got to be ready to play every single night. You can't afford to lose games uh, home or away in situations that you feel like you should, you should be the team that should be winning those games. Uh, Culver's a team that we're going to be fully prepared for and, and they will have our utmost respect. And we, we look forward to a great challenge here. So it's going to be a good week for us. Every single game matters now. Uh, it's a, going to be a great conference race. We're right in the mix of it. We're sitting in great shape. Uh, we, we've got to put together a good stretch here over the next, you know, four to six weeks. And uh, I think our girls are really focused and motivated to do that. I'm looking forward to seeing how things turn out towards the end of the year. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this week. Thanks.